Hey guys and welcome to my channel today we're going to talk about Dr. Ego but before we get into that video if you like any content you see here today please hit that like button that helps me a lot and gets the video more exposure and if you like the content that you see please think about subscribing that also helps a lot and I have plenty of other content on Aliga if you're a Leo fan like I am but let's get into the video Dr. Ego is a cyber physician he is one of the best in Zalem and he is throwing out of Zalem through the trash bin and survives the fall and I believe eight to nine years later around that time he finds a leaguer in the scrapyard and that's how we get to the Illegal Battle Angel movie but before we get into the after Battle Angel we have to talk about what happened before before he was outcasted from Zalem and stuff like that but he was actually a prototype character from another story that his friend wanted and that friend wrote this was which oh uh, sorry was Iron Fist it says by Yukigo but it was actually the artwork was by Yukigo and I guess they both tried to do the book but it didn't really work out that well it was a small story and it wasn't published until 99 but it was written and in 87 at the request of a request of a friend who was drawing Dio Janji I don't even know what that is he was inspired by the Mogahead album Iron Fist as well as the music video for the title track again they were unable to publish Iron Fist at the time but it was posted on his website 12 years later in 1999 and the character that you see in this image if you full screen it um, down on the bottom you can see <laughs> Dr. Ego with his mobile um, briefcase his coat <laughs> the top hat and everything and it's actually kind of funny um, Iron Fist storyline kind of goes like this um, he needs to track down a murderous killer and he does find him, takes out a sledgehammer out of his suitcase and bashes his brains in. That's basically how it goes. And it's kind of funny because it's like basically what he does saying <laughs> illegal. Um, next you have what um with Aliga, um you have the manga series, but this is how he looks compared to the Iron Fist um, cover that you're seeing and it's identical it's just a reused character but it becomes so much lifelike in Aliga especially with the movie and of course the unpublished version of Iron Fist this is what Dr. Eel looks like in the manga um, anime series um, he has blonde hair and the mark of Zalem is in his forehead um, in the anime it's actually a tattoo it's not um the head gem that um you can see sharon wearing so removing that would be kind of difficult <laughs> um if it was a tattoo and this is of course sharon with her gem in the middle of her head and there are only a couple in sharing and ego only a couple in the bagel angel movie they are not a couple in the manga series which is kind of weird because they have um, Ego and Aliga um, when Hugo died and of course Sharon was parking out and harvesting for organs she um, they tied her earring which you can see better here as her anime version her earring and Hugo's arm and they float it up to Zalem because that's where they always wanted to be because they thought that was like heaven to them that was perfect but it wasn't so <laughs> that's um her in her anime form but in the movie in the manga it does show sh um sharing but they do but I just think it's amazing if you look at the wiki how it doesn't coincide with what is actually in the manga which is kind of harsh especially if you're trying to get into it because I know a lot of people look at the wiki before they even buy a book sometimes or a manga in this case um 
afterwards, Ego um, helps Aaliyah out in the future, but doesn't really stay in the story as mainstream as he does in the movie. Aaliyah goes on her own, and Ego just goes back to um, Farm 21 in Scrap City and just repairs robotic bodies. Of course, he has adventures with Aaliyah in the future, um, also killing uh, Nova X with his sledgehammer. And that's really it, which is kind of sad and kind of a waste, I think, personally, of a character, especially someone who, like Ego, but... The movie, I think, really brought out Ego a lot more than the manga did. But I hope we see more of Ego in the movies if we get another movie, which is going to be my next video if we get one or not, which is going to be very interesting because I hold nothing back on that video. But there is a lot of cameos in Battle Angel, which I think is kind of hilarious because no one really seen them. And if you did, kudos to you. But the first one is Johnny Rico from Starship Troopers, my second favorite movie. He's the one who turns into a cyber junkie in the future, apparently, after the bug invasion. And <laughs> he kills Ego's daughter. <laughs> All over drugs, man. See, that's what happens when you join the army. You come back messed up. <laughs> And the next one is one of the bounty hunters, or I should say hunter warrior, um, from Fast and the Furious 1. <laughs> I haven't seen this guy in another movie since Fast and the Furious 1, so this is hilarious. And here he is as a hunter warrior. He looks so different, and it's so hard to tell it was him. I didn't even know he was in the movie till I saw the casting list. I was like, What? I know that guy, but this is apparently a way better career choice, and I think he would agree. Do you agree? Yeah, he agrees. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. But if you like the video, please hit that like sub, and if you want to join this community that's growing, it's just so awesome. Um, please hit that subscribe button, because that also helps, too. Um, we're going to be... Well, I'm going to be making better videos than this. It's just I've been so busy in the eggers. I haven't found the proper one that I want to show the per, um, production level that I want to show, which is going to be really good. Um, my webcam came in broken, so I had to send that back out today, which is a shame because <laughs> I'm still using this crappy old HD Microsoft cam. And my lights haven't come in yet. So waiting for all that. But till then, you gotta hold out for the better production level. And that's it for today, so I won't bore you anymore. Oh yeah, and remember, get um, if you're looking for a, the Mars Chronicles, the new ones come out April 10th, and you can pre-order on Amazon for $9.99, which is awesome. I'll uh, try to link that in the description, but for some reason, a lot of that stuff doesn't even go, so <laughs> I don't even know. It's a YouTube thing. Um, but I'll try. So I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. See you later.